What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today we're having a look at something a little different, uh, namely a monocular. Now a monocular is uh, effectively half a binocular, uh, so it's for one eye only and it uh, serves the exact same function as a binocular uh, to see things from far away. Now this um, specific model is the CD3 Level 2 Green Army Monocular by Hyder and it's provided to us by Metem Technologies. Uh, this is what you get in the box, um, a little cleaning cloth, microfiber, obviously to keep the lens clean, uh, a little wrist strap to make sure you don't drop it, and a little sort of velvety uh, carry pouch uh, when you put it in your bag or in your pocket. But obviously the star of the show, let's put this to the side, is the monocular itself. Now as you can see it's uh, quite small. It's smaller than uh, my hand. To be uh, completely precise, it is 115 by 45 by 35 millimeters big, and it only weighs 85 grams. Uh, so if you wrap your hand around it, you can see that it pretty much encases the whole device. Um, a quick look around it. Uh, on the inside, you can't see it obviously, but there's a, a metal body with sort of a, a rubberized, it feels like rubber, um, case around it. Uh, it has a 25 millimeter opening with special anti-glare coating and um, the body is sort of sculpted around as you can see here around the way you hold it so your fingers slide right over so it's a nice ergonomic design. Uh, on the business end obviously the part you look through uh, it's a nice sort of rubber uh, eye cuff if you can call it that way and this turns obviously to focus it depending on your uh, own eyes. Uh, the whole thing is uh, waterproof and it feels uh, nice and rugged. Uh, this is definitely obviously something you use uh, outdoors, think in the forest, if you like bird watching or animal watching, if you're some kind of ranger, if you work in a desert maybe, so uh, you know pretty generally pretty harsh uh, environments. So it's definitely um, yeah I think build uh, obviously rugged for a reason because of the environments that you use this in. Now the magnification on this is 10 times 25 and it has a field of view of about a thousand meters and uh, in our testing that seems about right. Uh, obviously we didn't do any uh, very precise distance measurements uh, but yeah over in, in a field of view of around a thousand meters uh, sounds about right. Um, the magnification yeah 10 times 25 uh, don't expect miracles from it this is not uh, you know it's not something to look at stars or something uh, you know, that is a uh, serious magnification. This is an ultra portable, uh, easy to use, quick access monocular for uh, uh, quickly scouting in the area around you. Uh, so, for example, hunters, um, police officers, uh, you know, uh, maybe even firemen. Uh, this is, you know, quick and easy to see what's going on around you uh, without having to take out, uh, take out a, like a giant set of binoculars or a giant telescope, set it up, tripod and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is quick and easy. Quick, quickly for scanning um, and that's it serves its purpose really well. Um, obviously since this is only 25 millimeters big it works best in broad daylight with a lot of light coming in. Uh, it starts to uh, not fall apart but it starts to struggle a bit obviously when the light goes down since there's just simply not enough light um, entering the lens. Uh, so this is definitely best used uh, you know during broad daylight uh, or in a sunny or light, at least light environment. Now the design itself is really nice. Uh, like I already mentioned, it's nice and rugged. Uh, this means that uh, you know you have the confidence to take it out and use it out and about where it's supposed to be used. You can imagine when you have uh, you know very expensive, high-powered uh, telescopes. Um, you know you always have to be a bit careful, and the harsher the environment gets, uh, the more damage you can potentially do to your device. Uh, not so with this one. It is designed to be rugged um, and it serves that purpose uh, extremely well. Now something I uh, find questionable is the placing of this little uh, clip here on the bottom uh, that you use to connect your uh, wrist strap on or any other kind of a strap or clip. Um, I told you earlier about the ergonomic design here for your fingers which is great but if you put your fingers here and close your hand around the device this sort of hits your, the base of your thumb uh, right away which is very uncomfortable and you can imagine if you have uh, like a carabine clip or anything on here uh, it gets a bit awkward with where you place your thumb and how you do that. Uh, you know it's not a disaster but it's, I think the placing of that could have been a bit better. 
Now luckily it's uh, a screw so you can just take it out uh, which solves the problem but then obviously you have the problem that you have nothing to connect it to. Uh, so that might be something for the next year's model. Now besides the uh, clip, um, I think this would have done right with a little lens uh, cap uh, which obviously uh, decreases the speed of use because you have to take the cap off and put the cap back on. Uh, but um, since this is, there's a little bit of a, uh, a ridge before the actual lens uh, sits there. So I think over time, especially when you wear this, uh, when you use this, put it in pants or put it in your pocket or a bag, uh, this might fill up with dust a little bit, which uh, could potentially be an issue. Uh, other than that, nothing bad to say about it. Uh, it's, it's a nice, uh, um, affordable, easy way uh, to sort of scout your environment and see what's going on. And I think if you're a hunter or an avid animal watcher, bird watcher, whatever, uh, and even if, you're, if you work in sort of uh, big open areas as a law enforcement officer or anything, uh, this can be a very, very useful tool to just have uh, on your keychain, maybe even uh, have it on your, in your uh, working pants or in your hunting pants, uh, clip it onto a bag. Uh, it's easy to deploy, easy to use, uh, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, as far as uh, stabilization goes, uh, obviously you can imagine holding a binocular, you have a bit more uh, control over the movement since you're using it with two hands. Uh, with the monocular um, I found it um, not tricky but it takes a bit of getting used to to stabilize uh, the device enough to get a clear picture. Uh, so I found myself in many occasions uh, sort of uh, planting my elbow, uh, putting my uh, upper arm on my chest uh, so it's a bit more stable or actually putting my elbow on something uh, like a tree stump or stabilizing it against something uh, to get a clearer view. And that's obviously something, uh, you know, inherent to the fact that you don't use this with a tripod uh, or anything, uh, but you use it in your hand. And because you only use it on one eye, with one hand, uh, you know, stabilization is something you have to get used to a little bit. Uh, but, again, that's a small thing uh, that you get used to pretty quickly. All in all, I find this uh, very handy uh, in all kinds of situations, even though I'm not a hunter uh, or a law enforcement uh, officer. Uh, this works well when you're skiing, for example, in, in civilian use, let's put it that way. When you're skiing and you're sort of scoping uh, a path down a mountain or scoping some off-piste work. Uh, it works really well when you go to the park uh, and, for example, with your kid and you want to watch some animals that are usually not too keen on being close to humans. It's a great tool. Um, and because it's relatively inexpensive, you can you know, get a few of these for the whole family and uh, it's a lot of fun for everybody, especially for younger kids uh, to sort of get the idea of looking at things in a distance and uh, getting started with scopes. I like it a lot and I think this is a really cool product uh, just to have with you uh, when you go out and about. This was a quick view at the Hyder CD3. I'm Peter from Reviews on Anything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!